Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kiona Serhoff, if you're new here, and today's video is going to be some of my Amazon finds and some of my Amazon must-haves. I have a wide variety of different items here, everything ranging from jewelry, accessories, uh, I have a face mask, uh, beauty products, and all of that. So without further ado, let's get into it. <music> Before we get started with the uh, first item, I just want to mention that I will have everything linked down below. So I have four pairs of sunglasses here. Uh, three of them are from the brand called Sojo. They are an extremely popular sunglass brand on Amazon. And I think all of these are, I think they're under $20. Um, I will, like I said, I'll link them down below. Um, so I found three from Sojo that I really like. And I'll let you guys, um, I guess, make your own decisions. So these ones are gold frames. They have, um, we call it mirrored lenses. They have like that cat eye. I think they're just like fun, cool, chic. They're, they're big. I do have like a large head. Um, so I definitely do need larger sunglasses. So if you have a smaller head, maybe these wouldn't work for you. But I actually love these so much i love the mirror it's like a fun take on aviators if you uh, don't like these um that just make note that they do have these little nose pieces i know they can provide some people with headaches and yeah they do not also they don't have the rubber coating on here so it, it might dig in I don't know. I don't. Maybe I haven't worn mine long enough. Cause who's really going outside these days <laughs> for that long? But yeah, I absolutely love these. So again, these are from Sojo. And then I have this black pair. Again, they're oversized. They do have this like gold detailing here on the ends. So that these are definitely like a lot darker. I can only wear these when it's really sunny outside. Um, these ones are a little bit better when it's just a slightly a little too uh, bright outside. But these ones, it definitely has to be sunny for me to wear it. But yeah, I like these. I definitely was looking for a darker pair. And these just go with everything. And the last pair from Sojo are these tortoise oops sorry tortoise shell uh glasses so they ha they have like that fun straight across look usually we see people wearing them like more down like this again these are good for when it's just like a little bit too bright outside it's not like blaring sunny um, you can still see they're not too dark, even though they look darker. They're it's definitely good, and I think they're they're gradient, so it's definitely like oranger up here and more clear towards the bottom when you look through them. I think these are fun. These I think all of them come in multiple colors. I just wanted to get a wide range, so I had something that goes with everything. And then these ones are like. A smaller version of these I don't know if you can tell these are from a different brand um, Sorbino um, these are blowing up I think I've seen like 20 youtubers have these but I wanted to try them even these being a little bit smaller like I think they still work on my face they're cute definitely like a little Instagram baddie moment all right, so that's it for sunglasses. Uh, just to note, each of the Sojo comes with this case. It's very soft. You can clean your glasses with it. Um, and then it does come with a little cleaner. So that's nice. Um, this one is a little bit like the, it's cheaper. Um, but either, like I honestly, um, if you want to take good care of them, because they are amazing quality. Like I have, a pair of like, expensive sunglasses and these like feel the same like they're not flimsy they're made of like good materials or really good quality so maybe buy I think I might look to see if I can get uh, hard shell cases 
for those just so I don't break them because I'm notorious for breaking them. That's why I won't buy expensive sunglasses anymore. I'm sure a lot of people can relate. Uh, so I'm going to move in to a jewelry now. So I'm actually wearing one of the items. I'm going to take this one off. This one's from Anna Louise. I forgot to take it off. Um, so I am wearing one of the items. It's just one of these simple snake. I think they're called snake chain. So it's quite short. I think I have it on the long. Yeah, actually, this is only one length. Like there is no extender in the back so if you want it to be longer you would have to uh, buy an extender but I really like it it's sterling sterling silver gold plated everything here is sterling silver gold plated so it should last for a good amount of time I've had these I think all of these items for a couple months now and I wear this one almost every day and I wear both of these earrings almost every day as well so I don't know if you can see that. So these are just like simple hoops and these are what they call huggies. These little, the simple hoops are a little bit more gold than the huggies are. Um, but they, I, they do not hurt my ears. Like I have very sensitive ears. I cannot wear costume jewelry. So that's why I was looking, especially for that sterling silver. Uh, so these don't hurt my ears at all. They're very comfortable. Even the Huggies because there is like no back sticking out. There is in... Sorry, it's a little bit gross. <laughs> there is um, with this one. So it like it does stick out a little bit. But with the Huggies it just goes like all the way around. That's why I really like Huggies. You can actually sleep with those in. Um, and then next I have like a bigger version and they're like an oval and so these are a little bit more of a statement um, but again I just I think it just elevates any outfit that you're wearing even if you're wearing like athleisure I really like these are super light they don't make your your um, ears droop by any means and then couple other ones that I have are so this is like the similar back to the first one and they have these little crystals all the way around the it is sterling silver gold plated um, but these are obviously not real diamonds um, so I'll just put them on for reference for sizing there's been a couple of uh, pieces that I've had to send back because I thought they were like a completely different size than what it looked like on the picture so I think they look really cute especially with the little huggies it was a really cute moment and then the last pair of earrings I got were these another pair of huggies they are I know they're it's hard to see so they have little diamonds and then a little dangly piece yeah, so they're a little bit thinner than these ones. I just like this. It just adds a little something. It's really into those. And then I have a couple of necklaces. So I have one pendant necklace. Um, there was mixed reviews about this because a lot of people don't like how shiny gold it is. So if you're not into that, just know that it is kind of shiny gold. But I don't mind it. Um, so it comes down to about here on me. It's good for layering. I, th I feel that it's very good quality. It hasn't tarnished. None of this jewelry has tarnished and I've worn it like I said non-stop um, since I got them. And then I got I have one of these so it just goes in like this little bar and hoop. All of, all of these pieces are very good for layering. And then I just have this simple, it has like little beads all around it. Again, just very nice for layering. I do need to get more like longer pieces because I'm finding, I keep buying pieces that are all the same length except for the pendant one. 
Uh, so definitely, they, a lot, most of these come in different lengths. So if you're going to get any of these, try to get different lengths and it's just so they're like easy to layer together because like, that layered gold jewelry look right now is like still super in. Um, so I definitely need to get some more pieces for layering. Uh, to continue on with the accessories, so I've been seeing everyone wear these flat brim hats and they look so cute, especially when you have a dress on. And I found this amazing one on Amazon. It comes in different colors. This is like the ivory with the black. Um, and then there's like tan with black, uh, I think tan with like a brown strap. And um, I think that's it. Um, and then the same company, I can't pronounce it, so I'll have it linked down below. Um, but they also have like the felt, like the fuzzy ones. I think I'm gonna pick up one of those because these just look so cute, especially with dresses. And I just recently picked up some dresses uh, from Amazon. Um, if you haven't seen that video, I'll put a card up here. Um, but love it. At first I thought it was too big, um, but I think that's perfect. So like when you take off your hat, your hair is like not like flattened to your head. Um, see, so there's like a little space in there for that. Love it. All right, and then, then the other two hats are actually for toddlers. Uh, so I bought these for my son. Um, I, we've, we've actually had these for a year, a year now. So he had these last summer. Um, and they're from, these are actually from the brand of Jan and Jewel. And they're so cute. So. They're little beach hats, but like Odin wears them on days that it's warm to daycare and all through the summer. So they have a little adjustable, like under the chin strap. Uh, it can come off on one side if you want. Um, and then it's adjustable around like the actual head if you want. So it stays on because kids are always like yanking off their hats. And it's, this one is like breathable, like mesh inside. And he finds it comfortable. He generally doesn't complain about having to wear it. And then this one is definitely uh, better for the beach. I think that's the only time we really use this is because this actually protects his neck and there's a wide like brim. And again, it's adjustable here and it has the adjustable chin strap and it's the breathable, breathable mesh in uh, inside the hat. So that's really good to protect him from the sun. He actually has matching rain boots that he probably wears every single day to daycare since it's been warmer. Exact same pattern and they work really well and they have the, um, they have like handles on them so he can actually get them on himself now, which is great. So it provides him some independence. And then for, I'm gonna move on. Sorry, I'm all over the place here. <laughs> But um, so I also found this mask for him because he is two now, technically he has to start learning to wear a mask. We are trying and um, we'll get there. He is not, a, he's not a fan of it at all. But I like this mask. What if I've been having a really hard time finding masks that fit his small little face. I find they always um, like limit his vision like cause they pop up off his face even if you push down the uh, nose piece they like pop off of his face so this actually like contours right to his face and it doesn't collapse when you breathe I know it's black so it's hard to see but it's the way it's stitched it's like reinforced so it's like 3d off of his face and yes it isn't adjustable but it's super comfortable and it goes around his ears and it just fits him perfectly he is to, he was born on the 13th of March, so he is like two and a, or two and a month and a bit. So, so um, just for reference, he is a larger kid though. He is wearing like 3-4T. Um, so maybe this, if you have an older kid that's just smaller, uh, this might work for, the, for your kid as well. All right, so I'm gonna move on to beauty. Actually, no, before I move on to beauty products, 
I want to mention uh, this thing here. So if you, if you are an avid wearer of leggings and especially, I think the reason I got this was because of the Lululemon line pants. So they're definitely like famous for pilling. A lot of leggings are famous for pilling, especially for us thick thigh girls constantly rubbing together. Your, your, your leggings are just going to pill. So I use this um, probably every week i'm not gonna lie on my leggings and you can see like i've actually i use it um here that it just takes all the pilling off with like in your crotch or on your thighs or on your butt or wherever you get pilling um like a lot of the time i get it everywhere all over the leggings and this makes it look like brand new and it's nice because it also takes like any lint or hair off at the same time and then your leg leggings can look close to brand new this one is um, USB charging. So like it's, you have to have it plugged in. This one's like not battery operated. You can, I think you can get battery operated ones, but I just plug this up. I have a USB charger right beside my bed. So I just plug this in and before I go out, I just do a quick, uh, like what's ugh. I just like put this over my pants really quickly just to get any of the pilling off and if you do it often it doesn't take you very long uh, so I definitely think this is a must have. And then going on to a beauty. So the first thing I want to talk about is like I'm like ride or die for this like I this hair dryer I can't do without this. So um, this is, I think, like a dupe for the Revlon one, I want to say. I think that might be the original one. I think the Revlon one looks exactly like this. This is definitely like a cheap knockoff, but it works amazing. Um, I, like, it's a blow. You don't ever need to go to a salon again for a blow. This does it. I've never been the one that's been able to, like, have the blow dryer and the brush and like do all of that. I'd usually just like flipped my head over and like blow dried it and then it was just a mess. Um, but this actually makes my hair like style ready even after blow drying. Like usually I would still, like I would uh, curl or straighten my hair, but like I can feel confident and like good about my hair just using this. And that's, and that's it. Especially if you use like the right product or whatever into your hair. So love this. One thing I do want to mention uh, to be careful about is I made the mistake is I have this like caddy that I put all my hair tools in and I didn't realize that I had a bobby pin in the bottom of it and it got stuck in here and then when I turned it on it like sucked it in and then it caught on fire. <laughs> so make sure that you don't keep this anywhere near like small items if you want it to last and to be safe. Um, but I think that's <laughs> with any um, hair tools, any hair dryer as well, I'm sure it can happen. It's just unfortunate that it happened to this and these are, these are super cheap. I think this this one was under forty dollars. Again, I will have it linked. Um, but I can't live without this. As soon as my other one was broken, I went no joke immediately onto Amazon, ordered another one, and it was here the next day. All right. So, and the last items are just some beauty products. So, I'm so pale in the winter and. Uh, so I've been testing out different self tanners. So far these two are my favorite and they're for different reasons. So, so yeah, so this is the Tan AF in darkest one hour self tan mousse with the darkest tan possible it isn't quite dark enough. So if you are someone who um, doesn't like, you know, like gradual tanners, like you're impatient, you want that instant tan, the instant glow, this is definitely for you. Um, this is actually great. It is, I find all self tans are like sticky and uncomfortable. It doesn't matter which one I use. So if there's one out there you think that doesn't make you sticky and uncomfortable and want to wash it off right away afterwards, let me know what it is down below. But, um... So to me, they all have that. I know like in the, a lot, I was reading Sephora comments on different self tanners and people are complaining about 
like the stickiness and the smell. To me, they all have it, so it's just part of using a self tanner. But anyways, this one's great for a fast tan. It does transfer, so be careful. Um, and if you're gonna sleep with it on, make sure you have like dark sheets and you're wearing head to toe clothing, because that's what I do if I use this. And I usually keep this on for like a day, night, and then wash it off in the morning. And then I recently came across this one um, because I've been looking into water mousse self tanning because I was getting a little frustrated with the transfer onto my sheets. I don't want to have to be buying sheets and I do prefer white sheets. Um, so this one does not transfer. This is the L'Oreal Paris Sublime Bronzer or Bronze in self tanning water mousse in medium and it smells like coconut and it has vitamin E in it. Um, so this is more gradual, like I wouldn't say it's gradual like a lotion, you definitely notice, an, you, you will notice it, um, unless you're already dark skin or tanned, um, but I was really pale when I tried this, and I actually ended up using it two days in a row just to get like that extra tan in, and it got pretty like, it didn't get to this point if you use this a lot, but it got pretty close. Like I, there, there was a noticeable glowy tan that is, I think, more natural looking. So if you want something that's more natural and you don't mind it being gradual and you're not already like dark skin, I would suggest this one for sure. All right, so the next one is a hair product. It is this Wow Color Wow Dream Cocktail Carb Infused Fine thin hair instantly adds volume or mass and volume. So my hairdresser actually uses this product. I have very thin hair. I'm probably going to be a bald 80 year old. Um, it looks thicker just because I have it curled and my hair is like short. Um, but I have a lot of gray and I have very thin hair. Um, and so I definitely need something like this. And then this coupled with using that brush hair dryer, absolutely amazing. The most volume I've had in a long time. Uh, so all you do is give it like one or two pumps. I put it into my hands and then I, you just, I flip my hair over and then I just put it into my roots to give it that volume. And then when I use the brush, I make sure to brush towards my face to give me that volume. So if you have a thin hair, I think this is definitely a must have. And then the last two products I actually spoke about on my Elf Cosmetics review, um, but I definitely think they're worthwhile and I bought them on Amazon so I thought it was fitting. Uh, so the first is the Elf Poreless Putty Primer. This is has blown up on TikTok and I had to try it. I've actually been using it for a long time I've, and I've hit pan on this one already. Uh, there is an applicator that you can get with it, but I didn't get that. I just like to put it into my, like on my fingers, like make it warm and then rub it into my pores, like really get it in there. And be before this, like I didn't really think primers worked, um, but this has definitely changed my mind, at least for this one, because it definitely uh, blends it out. I th I'm wearing it right now, actually underneath my foundation. And then the second one is uh, this tone adjusting primer. So I've been having a lot of issues with, because uh, I've been trying to like bake my under eyes and bake my face with translucent powder. But every time I do that, it like oxidizes and turns my skin completely orange. Like it looks horrible. And uh, it doesn't matter what concealer, what primer, what foundation, what translucent powder I was using, it would always turn orange. And so I was reading online and they're like, use like a purple concealer, like a, a tone adjusting concealer or a primer. And I, I was actually researching to do a video for um, like a full face of e.l.f. cosmetics and I found this and this is extremely affordable. And so I tried this with uh, their HD powder, which is also amazing, and uh, like the orangey oxidizing stopped. So if you have that issue, I haven't seen anyone else with that issue. It was like, it was really hard to find a solution 
to it but if you do have that issue try this they also have a green one if you have like really red skin and then they just have like illuminating one if you feel like you have dull skin so this is amazing highly recommend and i think that is it um so those are definitely i've we use all i use all of these products um i highly recommend all of them um and like you can see a lot of them are dirty or and used and it's just to prove like how much i we actually use these products so i really hoped you enjoyed this video if you have any questions about any of the products please leave uh, a comment down below and give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys at the next video bye